spinning and spinning. And eventually, I woke up. And when I woke up, I found myself surrounded by plants in the middle of the Costa Rican rainforest. The rainforest was so interesting that I decided to go for a walk and check things out. I saw seeds on the ground. As I walked, I also noticed lots of different varieties of trees. Some trees, like this palm tree, have very few leaves, but the leaves are really, really big. And other trees had lots of leaves, but the leaves were very small. And some trees had things that I never would have expected. Ow! These are really, really sharp. Even though they hurt, I thought the spikes on the trees were really, really cool. And I started to wonder, why do trees have spikes? In Costa Rica, there are lots of plants and there are lots of animals. And many of the animals like to eat the plants. So in order to survive, plants need ways to protect themselves. This acacia tree is one of the trees that has an interesting way of protecting itself. These spikes hurt and they prevent herbivores from climbing the tree. But the spikes aren't the only thing that protects the tree. This tree actually has security guards. And when I tap my stick on the tree, the stick wakes up the security guards and the security guards spring into action. And these ants on the acacia tree not only protect the tree, they also protect the birds that nest in the tree. Ants are an excellent source of protection. In exchange for protecting the tree, the tree provides a home for the ants. And the tree also provides nectar. Each of those little spikes has nectar or sugary water that the ants eat and use to feed their babies. Ants are an excellent source of protection. However, the acacia tree has even more than this. This acacia tree has the extra protection of wasps. As if they were working as a team, the thorns, the ants, the wasps, all protect the birds and all protect the tree. So the acacia tree has spikes, ants, and wasps to protect it from predators. <laughs>